CARB is responsible for developing California's greenhouse gas emissions inventory and its inventory of air pollutants. Many sources emit air pollutants and greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. The collection of these sources and their associated emissions is called an emissions inventory. Emissions inventories are most often used to plan and develop emissions reduction strategies. They also help prioritize our work and track progress on meeting California's air quality and greenhouse gas emissions reduction goals. Emissions inventories are developed using emissions measurements, fuel use, and estimation methodologies. CARB's California Greenhouse Gas Emissions Inventory accounts for human-made emissions from all major sectors, including transportation, industry, electricity generation, agriculture, landfills, and residential and commercial buildings. The inventory follows an internationally accepted method for building greenhouse gas emissions inventories. CARB publishes an updated GHG emissions inventory each year. CARB and the state's 35 air districts develop the emissions inventories for air pollutants. These pollutants come from human-made and natural emissions sources. The inventory is developed using a variety of approved methods from air agencies and other experts to support various regulatory and planning efforts. Stationary sources, such as power plants and refineries, are issued permits that limit how much air pollution they can emit. These stationary source emissions are reported to their local air districts. Emissions from other sources are estimated by CARB and the local air districts using established calculation methods. Air quality agencies work to improve and develop more accurate inventories. This takes the form of scientific research, changes to the reporting requirements of emission sources, and updates with the best available data or methods. As the quality of our emissions data improves, air quality agencies can develop more accurate inventories. These inventories can be used to address air quality issues and inform emissions reductions opportunities in the state. For example, in 2020, California adopted the Criteria and Air Toxics Reporting Regulation, or CTR, as a part of AB 617. CTR is intended to enhance the consistency, frequency, and completeness of air pollutant emissions data from stationary sources. This data may help us better understand the sources of air emissions that can contribute to adverse health risks at the community level. At CARB, emissions inventories are the foundation for many of our programs and strategies. These inventories are continually evolving as our air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions data improve. Improving emissions inventory helps CARB and the state's 35 air districts understand significant emissions sources, track progress in emissions reductions, and focuses programs to maximize emissions reductions.